Health Focus is brought to you by National Medical Stores, NMS. Passionate about your life. Following the commissioning of the second cancer machine, the Institute will be able to provide treatment to up to 300 patients daily. At least half of this number requires radiotherapy and at times combined with chemotherapy. Dr. Fred Okuku, a medical oncology consultant, explains that radiotherapy kills cancer cells or slows their growth by damaging their DNA, which is crucial to the healing process. These are rays, invisible rays, but they have energy in them. And when they confront a tumor, they are able to kill the cancer cell within the tumor. So just and a good example is the x-rays that we use for, for, for imaging. It's an effective treatment. It, it helps us quite a lot to treat difficult and complicated cases. A good example is when you have cancer in the brain, which is inoperable, it cannot be removed surgically. That's where we employ uh, radiotherapy treatment. The brain is a special organ that uh, bars off most drugs, so most cancer drugs don't reach the brain even when uh, they are given through the vein. He says it takes days or weeks of treatment before DNA is damaged enough for the cancer cells to die. Then the cells keep dying for weeks or months after radiation therapy ends. But treatment with radiation also differs. It can be delivered externally where the rays are coming from a distance. We call that external beam radiation. Or they can be delivered in a cavity or internally. We call that brachytherapy. So an example of external beam radiation is a, a machine <clears throat> that delivers rays from a distance to a particular organ. Whereas the other one called brachytherapy is where the source of radiation is placed within a cavity. A good example here is uh, uh, cervical cancer where the source is placed within the cavity, within the cervix. There are other types of radiation where they place the radiation within the organ where the tumor is, like in prostate cancer. We call those radiation seedlings. <clears throat> it's also a form of brachytherapy, yeah. but they are planted there, they are implanted within the body and left there for many years. Any cancer patient can undergo radiotherapy, whether young or old. The process lasts for a maximum of five minutes and is crucial for easing cancer symptoms as well. If you have a bleeding tumor, the best treatment to get rid of the bleeding is radiation. Every part of the body, every type of cancer has a different type. And these, these calculation of these doses are done by a technical team uh, including a very important person that is involved with this machine is called a medical physicist. It can be delivered to cure a, a tumor, for example. The, the intent of the radiation might be to cure a tumor. And in that way, the treatment is usually higher and takes over a long period of time. can also be delivered just to come deal with pain or what we call palliative, palliative radiation with no intent to cure. This is when the cancer is really advanced. The Cancer Institute is always grappling with misinformation, misconceptions, myths, and herbalists who lure patients away from treatment. Dr. Okuku says whereas medicines are developed from herbs, they may not be sufficient to treat the patient. I'm not disputing that they don't have some cancer effects. They do, but it's suboptimal. Suboptimal means it is below the required. Uh, where would combine two drugs or three to be effective, somebody is giving you just one. And probably it's being absorbed through the gut instead of the vein. Just to emphasize that these treatments are safe. These machines are just like any other machine that is in the public uh, domain that is used for treating. The machines are tested, they are calibrated. Radiation services at the Cancer Institute are free of charge, but can cost up to 5,000 US dollars, an equivalent of 18 million Uganda shillings, elsewhere. Radiation can cause side effects, but Dr. Okuku says they are managed 
And this is because a patient analysis is done to establish the best option between undergoing radiotherapy and nursing the side effects. They can be vomiting, they can be nausea, they can be low blood counts uh, if radiation is targeting the bone marrow. But all these, there are ways that we go around that by supporting the patient while on treatment. But usually when we are using any medical treatment, you weigh the benefit and, uh, and, and the side effects. But then, once a patient goes in for radiotherapy, good feeding is a must. We need to have a balanced diet. The body requires a balanced diet while you're on treatment. So nutrition is very important. But remember the do's and the don'ts that we have mentioned. Do not drink, do not smoke, do not fry or don't take lots of fatty stuff and um, avoid excessive sugars. There are all these myths about that. Don't eat this, don't eat this, don't eat this. The cancer takes sugar. What we are actually referring to is do not take excessive but you need some sugar in the body. Every year, more than 6,000 cases are registered at the Cancer Institute, and Uganda's cancer burden is generally lowering compared to other countries in the region. Cancer is curable if detected early, and the only way to do this is have regular cancer screening checkups. Walter Mwesije, NTV. <music>